welcome to Good Day State Line. I'm Michelle. Thanks so much for being here tonight for our first ever GDS New Year special. Toast to 2024 brought to you by Mr. C's, home of the burger, as big as your head. Tamanique is with me. Reagan Holgate is stopping by too as we keep recap 2023 and we're getting ready for 2024. Tamanique, are you ready? I am ready. Excited? We yes. all have a lot of fun to share with you tonight. I am starting with the top three biggest pop culture surprises. Okay. Not just necessarily moments, okay. but surprises of 2023. You ready for number one? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Pop culture surprise moment number one. It happened Sunday, February 12th, right here on Fox 39. There was a big football game, and in the middle, an even bigger performance. Rihanna took the stage for the first time in years to perform her biggest hits. She unzipped her jacket, and everyone <laughs> who was watching, I remember this moment. No, everyone grabbed their phones and just started Googling, is Rihanna pregnant? And how old is Rihanna's baby? And it was like, Google, Google, Google. And you're like, please put your phone down. We got to enjoy this performance. If I'm being 100% honest with you, I did not know she was pregnant. Like, I swear, <laughs> I didn't know till afterwards. It wasn't like 100% clear yeah we didn't know and you said the zipper didn't work on the no, the zipper jacket. didn't work that's how like she revealed because she wasn't supposed to reveal it that day and then she also rubbed her belly and i yeah. still like didn't catch on that she was <laughs> pregnant <laughs> it was exciting but it was like it yeah. definitely took us it took me away from the performance i had to throw my phone on the floor and i was like you can google if she's, she's pregnant, pregnant when this is over <laughs> she's pregnant now she is of course a mom to two baby boys ready for number two number two okay pop culture surprise moment number two just after the writer strike was announced the first week in may abc pulled the golden bachelor card okay the tv show that would allow them to basically win the strike viewership as we watched gary fall in love <laughs> so many times this fall he proposed to Teresa in the season finale. And did you know that they're getting married live on TV in January? I just found out today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they're getting married. Um, so I am not a big fan of The Bachelor in any capacity. Me but Me I watched neither. almost every episode of, of this The Golden one? Bachelor. Yes. And that's why they won the strike with this. I wonder how far in advance, like ABC maybe kind of knew the strike was coming mm -hmm. and they decided now, now is when we're doing Time the to Golden release Bachelor. It. Because so many people tuned in. So many people tuned in. Nothing else. Nobody really cared about like the young ones, but my man Jerry, they cared about. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it was, it was fun to watch a different mm -hmm. age group, but I yeah. also think it's because like Grey's Anatomy wasn't on. What else was I no. gonna do with my free time? <laughs> I have like an hour of free time every week. <laughs> and I gave it to the Golden Bachelor. All right, you ready for number, number three? Number three. My final pop culture surprise moment of 2023. This was also a Sunday, in case you're keeping track. Sunday, Sunday. September 24th, during a Chicago Bears game in Kansas City, the NFL changed forever. <laughs> Taylor Swift was spotted in the Chiefs suite watching her new boyfriend, Travis Kelsey. This was a huge, huge, huge moment. And I'm shocked that it was in the Bears game. Like that is such a Even huge crazier. moment for us. Yeah. This picture always makes me laugh because Donna Kelsey, Travis's mom, is like there but not there. And shortly after this moment, when she first debuted herself as a Chiefs fan, mm -hmm. you know, Donna was interviewed by the Today Show where she said like it was fine hanging out with Taylor Swift. Fine, just fine. Yeah. And now we know that they're like in a full-fledged relationship, and they actually were already dating before that day. Nah. -uh. Yeah. You know that? No, I ain't hear that. Yeah, they said we wouldn't just do that. So they were dating for like a month before she showed up at that Chiefs game. But Donna tea. said fine. Sips tea. Was fine. I hope I think she's changed her. Yeah, vernacular. I think she should have gave a and different. Said, description. I have some honorable mentions. Okay. Um, in sync having a new song, Better Place, Barbenheimer. Now, oh, the Barbie movie iconic. wasn't a surprise, but the fact that Oppenheimer was teamed up with it, that was Paired a together. surprise. Uh, the NSYNC reunion. Beyonce being at the, the Eras, Eras film, film premiere. Yeah. That was a huge surprise. And then Taylor went to hers. Yes, the second one, though. Yeah. Britney's book. The, the book wasn't so much a surprise as some of the things she said in it. <laughs> and finally, Shakira's jam breakup. I told you about this yesterday. Yes. How she, you know, broke up with her partner, Gerard Piquet, because she knew that, that someone... Crazy. She was the only one in her family who ate that strawberry jam, and then she knew someone else was eating that jam. That's wild. That she is knew wild that she to was me. being cheated on. So it's a big year. I cannot wait for uh, pop culture moments from 2024. <laughs> Excited for that. And I can't wait for Reagan Holgate to join us, too. She's going to tell us all about her favorite women in sports moments from this past year. We'll be right back.